So, I decided to do a long-term review about my dear setup. Yes, it's a Brooks C17 car. Cambion car. It's a marvelous setup. But, first, let me tell you a short story about Brooks. Over a hundred years ago, this guy here is to make saddles for horses. And one day, he lost his horse. I think he died or something. And he didn't have, at the time, he didn't have the time to replace it, to get a new horse. So a friend of his, thanks to him, <laughs> lent him a bicycle. He thought it was marvelous because you don't have to feed the bicycle, you don't have to take a great care of it, but he hated the saddle. He said that the, that was the worst place he ever sat on it. Since he was making saddles for horses, he said, why don't I make a saddle for a bicycle? That's the future. Bicycles are the future. And that's what he did. He studied, 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 and came up with the design for a saddle for a bicycle. And since then, it's considered the most comfortable saddle of all times. Well, Brooks saddles are very, very comfortable after you use them for a month and a half because it's so interesting. It's made by leather and the leather start to get the shape of your body. Yes, we have different bodies. We all different. And some, some people have wider seat bones, wider seat bones. <laughs> some people have narrow seat bones. Who are they? What's a seat bone? <laughs> they call ischies. But basically, are the bones that you sit on it. And those bones, they support your whole body when you sit on them. So if you don't have the base for them to sit on it, what happens is that you use your soft tissue and it hurts. So it's very important before you find a saddle for you. <laughs> before you find a saddle for you, discover how wide are your sit bones. Oh, back to Brooks saddle. For years and years, Brooks make leather saddles. A couple of years ago, they decide to make a vegan saddle. <laughs> it's funny to say vegan, but <laughs> you, you're gonna get me. Um, the original brook saddle are made by uh, with leather, right? Special leather has to be, I think, it's five millimeters thick, and the special leather com comes from a special cattle, so it, it's it's neat. It is top of the line. But they decide to make a different model, a new model. You know, what is this about? This is made of rubber, vulcanized rubber with cotton. That's why it's vegan. <laughs> so, how is this new setup made? Oh, they get rubber and vulcanize them. It's a special process to make the rubber stronger but flexible. Was perfect and then they put like a compass of cotton and a layer that makes waterproof is that cool but the funny thing is <laughs> when you look at the saddle it's like this can't be comfortable but it is look it sounds so hard right but look how flexible it is so it's very interesting. And the car part makes it even more flexible. This one, it's a white one, which is so beautiful. But after 3,000 kilometers, using day by day, it's not so white anymore. <laughs> yes, I write to Brooks to know if I could clean it somehow but they said you should use cotton and soap and it doesn't take the, the stain out it's fine so that let me show you 
It's in perfect condition, but it's not new anymore. See, there's a scratch here and some stains that it can take it out. See it? So, what did I think about this setup? I really, really, really like it. I choose the Canyon instead of the leather because you have to take less care of it. The leather, you have to put some like oil or, or, or liquid so you won't get dry. You have to stretch it. It's marvelous, but that's a lot of care. And you cannot let it get wet, you know. And the Cambian, you can let it get wet. Um, it's perfect. The only thing is, the white saddle that I like it so much. <laughs> yes, I do. Even with the stains, uh, it makes my saddle, you know. I don't know if you know about it, but before I do a video, I study a lot. <laughs> yes, because I know that you want to know my opinion, but it's nice to have, you know, other opinions. So I searched them and I realized that some people do not like the carb and some people love the carb i'm the ones that love the carb i think the carb gives more space for my body is more flexible and it's so amazing you ride for hours and hours and hours and hours and it's a must i do wear shorts cycling shorts because when you ride for hours, you know, it's good to have something that moves between the, the saddle and your body, you know, so it doesn't get blisters. Well, anyway, uh, let me tell you what I would do if I lose the saddle. How about new one? Yes, exactly like this one. Actually, I can't because they don't make the car in white anymore. But I could buy the black one. I do have other saddles. I do have other bikes. And this, for me, from all the saddles I have, or I had in my whole life, is the most comfortable one. I really like it. I love the carve. The carve is very nice. It makes it more flexible. It's so interesting because it's hot. <laughs> It's amazing. And I like the look at it. You know, it's so beautiful. It's so well made. Do I recommend? Yes, I do recommend. Brook saddles are fabulous. Fabulous. They're heavy. They're heavier than the regular saddle. Around 150 grams or heavier than the other saddles. But sometimes comfort comes first. Okay, I receive a lot of comments asking me about my saddle. So I'm doing a long-term review because it has been over three years and over 3,000 kilometers. And by the way, I love your comments. I love to know where you're from because <laughs> when you write your city, I go to Google Maps and look at it and imagine me writing there. So it's so good. So, if you want to know anything different about Bromptons or bicycles, uh, ask about it, <laughs> you know. And please put your city and country. I love to see it. It's so neat. If you did like the video, thumbs up. And if you didn't subscribe yet, please do. If you like videos that tells you about Brompton bicycles, straps and things like that, but the thing is, if you do subscribe, it won't make any difference if you don't click the bell. Yes, the little bell. This is the bell that's going to tell you when the video is out. Because that's the only way to know it. Well, you can visit every day. Bye-bye. <laughs>